There are approximately 1.2 million amputees domestically here in the United States and about 650,000 new amputees per year. That need is being met domestically but with a system that likely can't keep up with demands and is limited in its ability to change with the patient. So I needed a product or a system that was scalable and also more versatile that could change with the patient. And that's what has really spawned a lot of this innovation. So everything was based out of need. It was truly uh, the mother of all invention in this case indeed. The infinite socket has been engineered for scalability. It's a system where we can mass produce different parts and then individually construct those to the customized needs of each individual patient. Patient testing has been huge. The key thing with patient testing has been getting their direct feedback and then being responsive to that. So the idea behind our socket is that we're able to change the, the location, the shape, the angle, the position of that ischial seat in real time clinically so that it ultimately dials in that, that fit and it's 100% comfortable for that patient. And that's something that just hasn't been available from any, any product in the past. You know, we wanted to be able to, to come out of the gate with, to make something that's very challenging, extremely easy. You know, if we're successful at doing that and establishing a nice distribution channel to our clinical partnerships, now being able to launch a below the knee product, um, a liner product, whatever product we want to devise, now we've got the channel to be able to do that, a platform upon which to build. Our ability to distribute the infinite socket does require training. Because we have simplified the fitting process, the training on infinite socket can also be simple. It's a user intuitive system that prosthetists will be able to work with easily. I'm very confident that we can teach a practitioner to be extremely competent in fitting our socket in two to three fittings, which is powerful. I mean, it takes prosthetists years, decades, if you will, to learn how to properly fit an above the knee prosthesis. Instead of needing to take iterative molds you can make changes on the fly at the patient's home or in a nursing care facility or a hospital. So in the setting where the patient care is taking place, the socket can be adjusted to get to an optimal fit. One uh, major glaring issue with the OMP industry is the product feedback loop. So as it exists right now, there have been some really good technological advancements in non-socket technology like knees and feet and terminal devices and um, user control modules and things like that. For us, every single clinical partner is incentivized to provide us feedback on every single product that we fit. And we use that information to continue to refine our products in the future. They are so receptive to wanting to know what your response is to this thing that they've built. What is it you're feeling? And they really want to know the answers, even if the answer is, this part sucks, or this needs to be changed. They want to know that. And they'll be saying, look at this cool knee we invented, or look at this cool, you know, ankle. But where's the connection mechanism that's comfortable, you know? Where's the thing that's gonna, we're gonna put on us that's gonna make it comfortable? For instance, my knee that I have on currently is, um, you know, a microprocessor knee. It's a very high-tech knee, and I had this knee on my conventional socket, so you would think I'd be able to walk a long ways. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't walk any further with a really expensive, high-tech microprocessor knee on a conventional socket. However, I had the knee that I first got when I you know, lost my leg, which is basically a door hinge. It's a single-axis knee, and I put that on this socket, on the infinite socket by limb, and I could walk miles. It's not so much about the high-tech knee or the ankle, it's about what's connected to the amputee that's going to make it comfortable for them to walk.